I'm going to show you how to easily write equations for those confusing age word problems that are typically seen on standardized tests so that you don't have to get gray hair trying to solve them. So here's our first word problem. Tabitha is 16 years older than Bella. Five years from now, Tabitha will be three times as old as Bella. How old is Tabitha now? Let's not get caught up with the entire word problem. Instead, let's read sentence by sentence and even sentence fragment by sentence fragment to write what we read to develop an equation for each of the sentences. So Tabitha is means T equals 16 years older than Bella, which means 16 plus B, or B plus 16. And then the second sentence elicits a second equation. Five years from now, Tabitha, which means 5 plus T, or T plus 5, will be means equals 3 times, meaning 3 times something, put a parenthesis, as old as Bella, so B plus 5. The key here is if Tabitha is T plus 5 in the future, Bella also has to be plus 5. And then the question asks, how old is Tabitha now, which means solve for t. So now we have two equations and two variables and have to solve for t. If t equals b plus 16, we could plug the b plus 16 in for t in the other equation, giving us this. And then we just simply solve for b and b equals 3, but be careful if 3 is actually in the answer choice set. Refresh on the question, and remember we have to solve for Tabitha. So plug 3 in for b into either one of the equations and solve for t. To avoid making the mistake of choosing the wrong answer after getting all caught up in developing equations and solving, for example, in the same problem if they're asking for us to solve for t, solve for the opposite variable in one of the equations, which means solve for b by subtracting 16 on each side to give us b equals t minus 16, and then plug the t minus 16 in for b in the other equation to give us something like this, and then just follow through and solve for t to get exactly what the question is asking for, Tabitha's age. While writing what you read sentence by sentence to develop an equation for each sentence, focus on the words is, was, and will be, which all mean equals. This will help you break each sentence apart into sentence fragments to help develop the left and right sides of an equation, whereby the left side of the equation can be what's on the left of is, was, or will be, and the right side of the equation is what's on the right of is, was, or will be. Let's try another example where we write what we read sentence by sentence, or even sentence fragment by sentence fragment. Bryce is means B equals six years younger than Nathan, which means negative six plus N or N minus six. 20 years ago, Nathan's age, negative 20 plus N or N minus 20, was means equals 13 years more, which means 13 plus, then half Bryce's age, which means half times b minus 20. Now remember, if n minus 20 represents Nathan 20 years ago, then Bryce must also be b minus 20. And finally, the question asks, what is Nathan's current age, which means solve for n. So now we have two equations from two sentences and have to solve for n. And in this case, we already have the opposite variable, b, solved for n minus 6, which means we could plug n minus 6 in for the b in the other equation to get something like this, and then follow through to solve for n to get Nathan's age. Since everyone loves word problems, let's try one more. Jaden is means J equals 11 years younger than Sophia, meaning S minus 11. 10 years from now, so J plus 10 and S plus 10, the sum of their ages, meaning add those two together, will be 53 equals 53. What is the present sum of their ages, meaning solve for J plus S? Well, we can at least eliminate A and D, 11 and 53, since those are the exact numbers given in the question stem, and we haven't even used the equations to solve anything yet. Now notice, in one of the equations, we already have a J plus S, which is what we're solving for. So let's use that equation to simplify and solve for J plus S. Simple as that.